What's going on YouTube? Rob A here and today we're going to be taking a look at LEGO Star Wars set number 75052, the Mos Eisley Cantina. A most wretched hive of scum and villainy. And uh, it's got 616 pieces and retails for about $70. Uh, so yeah, and for that price tag you are getting uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 minifigures. Uh, so you've got three of the cantina band players or bith musicians you get greedo you get han solo you get obi-wan luke skywalker and a sand trooper as well as the uh the dewback over here so it looks like a very um it reminds me a lot just offhand of like the uh i'm gonna say like lord of the ring sets where it's just kind of a facade but uh closer inspection does show it's got some actual like rooms going on in here so hopefully it'll open up a little bit more you can actually get a little more involved um it's got of course a sand speeder which eh, that's fine i guess i've got i think two of these already from different sets i would have preferred maybe if this didn't come with the set and just had more stuff here but that's okay i understand you know they're they're doing what they gotta do on the back we can see some of the uh some little features here it shows you the way that it closes and opens up and how it you know top sh opens up and everything else and you've got the the, the do back here and this the sand speeder and uh, the various features of those as well uh, that's pretty cool you can have them run wild if you so desire uh, you have a little feeding area and uh, the band and of course you can have you can recreate the scene in which Han shoots first guys I'm sorry Han shot first that's just how it is uh, no amount of tweaking the video will make it otherwise anyway that is the box we are gonna build this thing put it together as wait I just said the same thing twice anyway <laughs> I will be right back guys uh... Alright guys, here is the Moss Eisley Cantina, and uh, like we do every time, we're going to start with the minifigs first, so here we go, and we may as well start with this little guy, we got Luke Skywalker, here he is, looking so clean and fresh in his little duds, uh, now I don't is this a new Luke Skywalker? It is. It's a new Luke Skywalker. I'm not sure exactly what's new about it. Uh, because this is the first Luke Skywalker I've had in quite some time. Um, but So he's all new to me. But um, as you can see, he's got some white robes going on. He's got his little uh, leg wrappings there. Some nice back printing as well. Uh, and he's got a very Mark Hamill looking face going on there. And you can pop his hair off. And check out the back of his face. Looking equally Mark Hamill-y. With his kind of not amused smirk going on there. So pretty cool. Uh, some nice hair. Surfer dude. <laughs> Luke Skywalker hair. Uh, so that is Luke Skywalker. Next up is Ben Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, let me get his lightsaber out of the way. Here is Ben Kenobi. Uh, also looking pretty fancy. He's got some robes going on as well. His Jedi robes, actually. Um, you can see some very nice detailing all the way around. You can see uh, it's kind of hard to make out because of the brown uh, with black. But he does have the hood printed on the back there. Very nice. Uh, he has no back printing on his head. So what you see here is what you get. But it's very very nicely done and uh, he of course has his blue lightsaber Meow. Ah, so there's Ben uh, next up we have the Biff players or the uh, cantina band as they're more commonly known uh, and you get three of these suckers two of which have instruments one of these right one of these 
And uh, this one I just kind of made out of the spare parts from the set, so it's not actually there. But so I'll use this guy to show off the figure itself. It's a brand new mold. You get the new head. You just It's three of the same heads. They all have the same exact printing on them. Um, and it's kind of like <laughs> chef's jacket that he's wearing. And then you flip it around. You can see the backside is printed. And some more sculpting towards the back of the head. So pretty cool. You get three of those guys to uh, fill out your cantina. I'll just leave that off to the side. And then these guys will just hang out and over here. There we go. Ah, let's see. Next up, we get Han Solo, I guess. So we'll pull this little guy out. We'll show off Han. And uh, I really do like this Han Solo print because my favorite is the whole the you know the the first episode uh with basically you know the, the much more like cowboy outfit that he had going on with just the shirt and the, the vest and the sweet holster belt which is shown here printed on his leg uh though it does not continue onto the side but uh you see this jacket there as well he's got a very smug face going on there and uh, on the back, he's got an even more smug face. How about that? Although it is a little bit too similar to the Mark Hamill face, maybe. Eh, no, I guess they're I guess they're different enough. But yeah, you get the idea. There is your Han Solo. Hi, Shepherds. And uh, <laughs> moving right along, Greedo. Uh, and I think this is the first Greedo I've got. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Um, but either way, it's a pretty cool sculpt. Uh, I think the head sculpt's been used before, although I don't know if the eyes were ever colored in on the previous uses. Uh, and probably not. It does say this is a new figure. Uh, so, I mean, it may just be the eyes colored in. But his eyes are crazy. Like, you could, you could get... You could just get lost in those eyes. Uh, yeah, but other than that, let's focus up. Come on, bro. Come on, let's focus. All right, so yeah, I mean, there are some really nice details uh, on this guy's print front and back. And overall, just very cool. So, Greedo. And last but certainly not least is our Sand Trooper hanging out on his dewback over here, which we will get into in just a moment. You gotta act like go. And act like go. <clears throat> and here we go. Very cool. I do love this Sand Trooper. Uh, I love the printing on this guy. And, uh, yeah, so he's got a nice little, like, kind of dirty motif going on. Very nice weathering effect on the pieces themselves. Uh, so very, very cool. Uh, I love this, like, dirty... <laughs> I love the dirtiness. Uh, he's got this backpack, which is used up of these, uh, little lightsaber handle bits. And the instructions have these in just regular gray, and these does come with regular gray pieces for these. Um... But I went ahead, because it, it does co also come with a couple extra of these silver pieces for the lightsabers uh, in the set. So I just stuck the extra silver ones on, and I think it looks a little cooler. Uh, yeah, so very cool helmet, as you can see. He's got the shoulder cape thing, weird big pauldron. Uh, and, of course, you can lift that up. And see his grumpy face. He's got a very grumpy face. I think I would have preferred like maybe a more neutral face for this guy, but uh, you know, grumpy face is fine. Uh, he's upset, and that's understandable. Cause look at him. He's dirty. He's filthy. Uh, so yeah, that is your minifig lineup. So what we're going to do now is take a look at the set of. And here we go. So, uh, first thing you'll notice about the set is probably this guy right here, the Sand Speeder. Um, now, this is not my first Sand Speeder. They're, they have had many, many Sand Speeder sets. And honestly, this one is probably my least favorite. <laughs> um, it's made pretty similarly, uh, for the most part, 
<clears throat> to the to the other sand speeches I have, but the other ones just seem so much more robust. This really feels like, I mean, you can see, uh, it's barely more than one brick high. Uh, and I mean, I understand that that's kind of how this thing is supposed to be laid out. It's supposed to be flat and kind of kind of aerodynamic looking. Um, but it just kind of comes across as sort of a, I don't know, just like there was, it doesn't feel like there was really any love put into this design. <laughs> like it just feels kind of meh. Uh, but you got two seats here. You can have uh, Luke, old Lucas Skywalker, and uh, his buddy, old man, Greybeard, <clears throat> kind of chilling out there in the seats. Uh, you can see all this got a little uh, clear uh, things. <laughs> Words are escaping my brain. Uh, so it's got these on the bottom to simulate kind of going but uh there's it's so low it's this thing is so low to the ground and these are so flat that it just looks like it's laying on the ground it really does not look there's nothing there's no life in this set i think is that's kind of what i'm getting at there's no life in this but i do actually i i don't know it's kind of weird to say this i do kind of like the stickers in this bit uh because they do serve to really bring out the engines nicely and kind of kind of show those off highlight those um, this I'm not too fond of. Any sticker that's supposed to, like, roll into a color from another color and is put on a different colored plate, uh, so you get this border around it, I'm not a fan of one little bit. But, uh, you know, it's what, it is what it is. And, of course, you could pull off the back here. <clears throat> you got some accessories down here. You got some, uh, Luke Skywalker's lightsaber, as well as a pair of Nox binoculars. Uh, for looking around and finding sand people and stuff, so you do get that going on. Um, yeah, so there is the sand speeder, and uh, yeah, yeah, there it is. All right, moving right along, we do actually get an aminal in this set as well, and we'll uh, bring this guy back up together here. You get a do back. Uh, and he's pretty cool. I've never had one of these in uh, Lego form uh, or any form really. I don't even think I had any any kind of do back toy, but uh, pretty cool. I like the way that the uh, the end of the mouth or the end of the inner, inner mouth and neck right here uh, kind of looks like a tongue when you've got it going on in there. Uh, it's not colored, of course, but you know uh, it does have printed teeth on both sides of the mouth. These are sculpted and painted. These are just printed on, but uh, it, it does pretty well. And the Dubak is just adorable for, you know, for all intents and purposes. Uh, I do wish that the arms, or the legs rather, were at least posable. So you just have them in less than just a standing position. But, you know, that's, that's fine. It is what it is. Uh, you get a nice little saddle here, of course, uh, which can be removed. And pop that right off and you do get four of these lego bits just like so that you can actually pop on here to have your do back in the all natural position like if you want this dude running wild and free you can totally have that uh, and then you just pop these guys right off i didn't put them on all the way because they are very tight and i don't have my brick separator handy actually yes i do i'm not gonna lie always have a brick separator handy guys you never know um so yeah you get a nice little blaster on the side there and this dude can totally hang out and chill on his back in the background <laughs> all right on to the cantina itself here we go bring it up into focus make sure i can get it all in the camera and I will do my best. Let's start with the outside first. Let's just flip this right around. Actually, let's close it up because you can close this thing up uh, just like that. Have a compact little little ball of cantina. And from the outside, it looks like this. You've got a big <clears throat> like trough with a bone in it. And I don't know if that's for the dewback or what. Uh, I'm assuming so. But you get this big long bone and you get this 
sort of thing going on here. You got these little, I don't even know what this is supposed to be. I'm sure you Star Wars guys will let me know. But uh, you get one of these things and it just clips on and you pull it right off. Uh, but it's got like, I don't know if this is a weather vane of some kind or what, but uh, you can just clip it on there to keep it all together. And of course here's the, here's the outside. And uh, yeah, there it is from the outside. There's really nothing special going on here. Uh, but you can open her up <clears throat> like a so and get the cantina effect. And then you can kind of, I don't know, you can move this however you like this door <clears throat> and we'll get into this really quick you do get the door here a little trash con on the outside There's nothing to note on the inside so I won't bother uh, but you do get the sliding door so you got that going on that's pretty cool inside the door you get like a little little room and you can open the top up here Kind of let some light in. Uh, you got a couple of seats and a little machine of some kind, uh, and that's pretty much all you're getting in that that space. <clears throat> Next up, we have our famous seating arrangement of chairs, <laughs> but it is well known. And uh, you can come back here and push on the little trough. And that'll extend these guys out a little more just to let you kind of get in there and play a little bit. So we'll seat our uh, nerf herder and our green head right in there. And you can reenact the scene where somebody kills somebody and then somebody goes in afterwards and pretends like that didn't happen. <laughs> so yeah, you get the, uh, you know, the, the cantina scene with the... Uh, with the face off with the shootout and that's pretty cool you get that going on i mean this is kind of a i i would have preferred to see this in like a, a ucs scale or more ucs scale set uh you know like a hundred dollars or two you know 150 uh and i know that's you know nobody wants to really spend more money but i would have liked to see more fleshed out rooms um and things like that and this uh this you get this space uh and I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit just so you guys can see what's up right. so you get a bunch of little doodads in here uh like this little thing and uh you know some some bits on the wall and uh it's pretty pretty neat i don't really know exactly what it's supposed to represent um, maybe just a little table or something you can stick your stick your guys in there um, so yeah, you do get that. And of course, last but not least, you also get the, uh, the kitchen area, I guess, the bar, you, you'd call it, um, with a bunch of little knickknacks and, and, and drinks and, and, you know, these are probably fountains for, you know, liquids and things like that. You get a little, um, thingy dingy here. You get the, the register with a, with a pistol on the side, just in case. And of course, a uh, drawer full of monies, full of credits, or whatevers. <clears throat> and you got that. The bummer here, and I mean, that is basically the cantina. Uh, there's really not too, too much going on here. Uh, it's all about the minifigs. And, and on that note, that is my biggest issue with this set, is the minifigs. Um, I love that you get the cantina band. I think that's awesome. Um... <clears throat> Honestly, I could have gone. I mean, you get Han Solo and Greedo in this set. I could have gone without the, the Sand Speeder. I think if they had gotten rid of that and added those pieces to make this set a little more fleshed out, uh, add some other minifigures like, oh, I don't know, the bartender. Uh, you know, minifigs that we've never gotten before. That ugly face dude that starts mess with Luke. In the bar, that's that super famous scene. Uh, I think that would have been better. I would have gone for, you know, like the werewolf guy. <laughs> There's a straight of werewolf in the cantina. I would have loved that. Um, so, yeah, I really think they fell short on the minifigs in this set, personally. Um, I love that we got the cantina band. Um, and it's cool that we get three of them. That's, even, that's awesome, too. Um, but... And, you know, uh, Greedo is fine, and Han Solo is fine, because those are really important scenes. But, 
you know, we've gotten so many sand speeders now that even include uh, sand troopers to recreate the, you know, the the the, not the droid you're looking for scene. Um, that I feel it was kind of unnecessary in this set, and and really to the detriment of this set. So, eh. What are you going to do? O overall, I'd say it's an okay set. I like the minifigs. Um, this is a pretty cool piece to have in a background, but it's, I, I mean, there's not, there's nothing really that jumps out to me that says this set is worth the asking price. Uh, other than, you know, you're chasing down these guys, the minifigs here. But uh, that is my opinion, of course. Your mileage may vary. Your opinion may vary. And that's cool. So it makes the world go around. So that's going to do it for this review, guys. I want to thank you so very much for watching. As always, uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, and uh, you'll see all the links on my page or, you know, whatever. And, uh, yeah, thanks again for watching, guys. That's going to do it for this review. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.